Hey, Mike DeWay here, first degree black belt under Eddie Bravo in 10th Planet Springfield here inside Superhero Jiu-Jitsu Academy. I'm with Dwight Sanders here. We're gonna be working through some of our more advanced rubber guard. Uh, it's muddy waters. It's a pretty high guard. Um, you don't have to have a ton of flexibility for it, but you definitely have to have some flexibility. So we're gonna end up um, attacking one of his arms in two different ways. We're gonna attack a shoulder lock in Americana style, and then we're gonna attack an arm bar um, coming over his head with our legs and straightening out his arm. So we'll start here in closed guard first. Okay, again, anytime we need to start working our rubber guard, we have to break down posture. We need to bring uh, Dwight's head towards us, whether it's pulling elbows, taking arms out of the mix and using our legs, or uh, starting to sit up and bring him to us. Either way, we're trying to bring him down. We want his head down uh, towards our stomach, towards our belly button. Uh, once we do break his posture, we're going to start to hip escape out. I prefer to use my left leg for my rubber guard, so I want to hip escape to my left, getting onto my right hip. So my left foot goes to the hip, I drop my right knee towards the mat, and I'm able to bring my left wrist or left ankle to my right wrist here. Once I do that, my right foot's going to look for the hip. I'm going to take my left hand and zombie. I need to get this hand to the mat. I want to create uh, or eliminate some of the space that he's able to create with frames here by going under his elbow, up all the way through to my armpit, and then circling back around to my knee for my zombie, getting his hand to the mat and eliminating that arm from the equation when we talk about uh, his top position and his defenses. From here, I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna press against his hip just a little bit so that my right hip comes off the mat to allow it to kind of sw uh, move a little bit better. If I stay on my right hip, I can probably get my right foot up there, but it's a little bit tight and my right arm starts to straighten out, which I don't want. I want to keep my elbow forward, driving into his collarbone. So I'm going to take my right foot, press it against his hip and bring my right hip out a little bit. So now my right knee can come towards my shoulder and then I can circle it on top nice and easy. And now my elbow, I can still drive forward. From here, I'm going to reach up and grab this foot and I'm going to circle it around. You can do it without. I like to grab and then bring it around. Some of the more flexible guys will be able to just bring their foot out and then grab it. But I like to have a little bit more control over it. So when this foot is ready to go back behind my left foot, I like to grab it and pull it in tight. And then from here, we can tighten it up a little bit, grabbing the ankle, pinching our knees to keep him in tight. Now, <laughs> I don't want to stay square on my back. Not that it's uh, not going to work, but it'll be stronger for me to extend my left arm and keep him uh, uh, tilted off to the side. Okay, so now if you were to try to start squaring up, it'd be a little bit more difficult. I'd be much heavier on this side. Whereas if I'm squared up, he can start to posture and start to drive back in. Much more difficult for me to start to attack him here than if I straighten my left arm. Okay, once I straighten my left arm, my right hand is free to attack his left arm. I'm gonna attack it in a couple different ways. One, I'm gonna reach up, and I'm gonna just start taking his hand towards the mat to attack his shoulder in a shoulder lock. Okay, applying pressure downward on his shoulder. If for some reason his hand is too tight to his face here and I'm not, not able to pull it out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually come right to his thumb and I'm gonna hold my own shin here. Holding my shin helps me maintain his posture. As I release my foot on the other side, I'm gonna take my left hand to his left hand and my right leg is gonna come out over the top of his face and I'm gonna arm bar here, driving my hips up to get the tap. So again, guys, this is some uh, advanced rubber guard. It takes a little bit of flexibility and it takes a little bit of knowledge of uh, your partner's reactions, of the angles that you need to 
have, it's, it's a little bit more advanced and you have to know a little bit more. Not that advanced means that it's less likely to work, it's just more, you have to have more knowledge and understanding of distance and space and the angles of your rubber guard. So we're gonna sit up, we'll bring our partner down to us, hip escape, fire our mission control, immediately bringing our foot to the hip, controlling his crown of his head. He's not gonna blast out if we control the crown of his head and we've got our mission control. Now we're gonna zombie, we need to get that hand to the mat. I go right underneath of his elbow and I extend my arm all the way through. Don't try to just circle it out here. This is not strong enough. Shoot that left hand all the way through. And then use your elbow, use your, your, your traps and your triceps, not your traps, your triceps to pull that arm back down and to hook your knee for your uh, zombie getting that hand to the mat. Once we do that with that foot on the hip, we're gonna engage the, the pressure against his hip so that we can get out and bring our leg on top. Grab that foot, circle it back around. Now we've got his arm trapped on the mat. We've got our knee hugged, which is very important for rubber guard. And we've got that high double bag. Okay, so this is a double bagger. All right, from here, if I can just take this hand, I might be able to take it right down into okay. the Americana style shoulder lock. Or if it's in too tight, I'm gonna look to hook just his wrist, control my shin here, and now as I let go with my left hand, I'm gonna switch to his hand and my left foot clamps down as my right leg comes over the head to finish the arm bar. All right guys, so again, this is Muddy Waters. Like I said before, it's an advanced rubber guard technique. So you do need to have a good understanding of the angles that we're taking and the distance that we're covering. Uh, and part of that is being able to come into a school like 10th Planet Springfield here and learning from somebody rather than just watching YouTube videos. You can learn a lot watching YouTube videos, don't get me wrong, but coming in and training with a uh, first degree black belt like myself or somebody qualified, um, affiliated with 10th Planet uh, is, is going to make a big difference in your game. So please come and visit 10th Planet Springfield here uh, in Springfield, Oregon. Or if you're not close by, 10thplanetjj.com forward slash locations to find a 10th Planet near you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you know, do a little bit of stacking, do a little pullback, that kind sure. of thing, you know? Okay. That kind of, Next you know. thing you know, he's going to revert to his muscle memory and check you out. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> yeah, elbows. Dwight's got a lot of elbows. <laughs>